Hey everyone, good morning, happy Monday. It's super early Monday, it is about 6.45. I am headed out of the house, I have a long day ahead of me. I've got a meeting at seven, then I've got work, then I've got school. I will be home about 9.30, 9.45. So super long day today, um, and that means that I need to take pretty much everything with me for food today. Here's my outfit of the day first. And then here's what I'm taking with me for food. Okay, so coffee is gonna be at work as always. It's gonna be regular. I actually do half and half decaf, half decaf, half regular Starbucks for zero smart points. And then I use regular half and half, three tablespoons for three smart points. So my coffee will be three smart points. This is what I'll be breaking my fast with today at three o'clock. I still do intermittent fasting, so I eat my lunch at three o'clock. This is um, a baked potato. So a baked potato, a medium baked potato is five smart points. And then this is the chicken gravy that I made yesterday in the crock pot. So chicken gravy is one smart point. I'm gonna put that on top of the potato and eat it that way. So my chicken and gravy baked potato will be six smart points. And then this is actually dinner, which I have to have in the car. It's funny because for lunch, I'll actually have access to a kitchen and a microwave and just a lot more flexibility. And then for dinner, I'm actually going to be eating literally in the car on the way to school. So dinner has to be like totally portable. So this is my dinner. I'm having a turkey wrap. This is one Olay Extreme Wellness wrap on the bottom for one smart point. And then I have two slices of this turkey, just basic turkey breast. Um, two slices is two smart points. I have one of these Frigo light cheeses, light string cheese for one smart point. And then I've got some apple slices and my favorite horseradish mustard for zero smart points. So my turkey apple wrap all together is four smart points. And then I've got this ginormous apple to eat. I have these, which are my favorite WW crisps. They are the barbecue chips. Um, those are two smart points. Yeah, two smart points. And then I'm gonna have a built bar for three smart points. This is the caramel built bar, three smart points. So my dinner all together is gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine for dinner, six for lunch, and three for coffee. That's 15, 16, 17, 18 smart points. I have been in the habit of having some popcorn in the evenings, and um, I actually bought I bought the WW popcorn popper and I bought this popcorn to have with it. So basically one tablespoon of kernels is one smart point. So I've been having five kernels, five tablespoons of kernels in the WW microwave popper for five smart points. And it's quite a bit of popcorn, it's just plain popcorn and it's five smart points. So with 18 points in my day, I may have some popcorn later tonight. Depends on what time I get home and how tired I am. But this is my day so far. Okay, it is lunchtime and I have errands to run because the fun just never ends with this girl. I do have to say it kind of felt a little bit good being up so early this morning. I felt productive. Um, so as long as I get enough sleep and I can wake up early and be productive. What time did I go to bed last night? I think I went to bed almost 11 so I got like six and a half hours of sleep um, my preferred number is eight that's my magic number but I think if I can do six and a half to seven at least seven on most days I should be okay anyway um, what I wanted to tell you guys is that I need to start a new school yikes I'm gonna get run over okay I need to start a new school study schedule I got to make time to study. So I'm the kind of person that's going to do better studying out of the house, um, someplace where I can 100% focus on um, whatever I'm studying. So um, I, I need more than one day. But for now, I'm going to do Thursday nights. I'm going to start studying Thursday nights, and I'm probably going to go to Starbucks. So I need ideas from you guys as to what I can eat for dinner at Starbucks. What would you like to see me try? What would you like to know the points on and the price? And what kind of Starbucks drinks would you like me to try or hack? Um, right now, what I get when I go to Starbucks is, I usually don't eat there, um, or when I do, I'm like super craving something sweet and I have a brownie or something dumb like that. <laughs> the last couple brownies I've had there have been amazing. 
Um, but what I typically get at Starbucks is an Americano. I have been getting, since my switch to regular half and half at work, I've really been enjoying the extra creaminess of my coffee. Um, so since I switched at work, now when I go to Starbucks, I'll get a grande Americano with steamed half and half. So good, so good. The key is steamed half and half. It's like a latte. Um, but it's creamier and I have been counting I was counting three points but I figure when I have my half and half at work it's three tablespoons three points at Starbucks it's probably more like four tablespoons so I've been counting four tablespoons four points so a four point Americano with an extra shot um, brevet style at Starbucks is what I've been having so I need ideas from you guys as to what should I eat for dinner because I will be eating dinner at Starbucks for a while um, and what should I drink <laughs> that could be low in points so help a girl out here okay I'm home for lunch and I thought I would share a quick little article with you guys that I saw the other day look at that little sleeping beauty <laughs> She's taking up the whole bed. Um, so I saw an article on the WW website the other day that is called 13 zero point foods you totally forgot about. We all know about chicken, vegetables, fruits, okay? All, all the basics that you're probably tired of. Well, let's run down 13 awesome zero point foods that you forgot about. Okay, ready? These are some good ones, and I even forgot about these too. Okay, scrambled eggs. I love eggs so much, I actually love them poached, but I forget to have them. I don't know why, I forget to have my eggs. This says, scrambled eggs, this go-to breakfast dish won't break your budget. That's because all eggs, whether scrambled, poached, or made into omelets, are zero points. So if you like eggs, eat up. Okay, number two, caviar. Ooh la la, caviar or salt cured fish eggs may be pricey, but it won't cost you a single smart point. How, do you guys eat caviar? And if you do, how do you eat it? Don't most people eat it on little rounds of toast um, with champagne? Because <laughs> if I add the toast and the champagne, it's not gonna be zero points. And it's not gonna end pretty either. <laughs> Number three, edamame. I love edamame so much. Trader Joe's sells some frozen edamame. They sell it shelled and they sell it in the shells still. I love it in the shells because it just it's a great snack food. It takes a while to eat. It's nice and salty. It's filling. It's delicious. It's zero points for edamame. That's so cool. Number four, unsweetened fruit cups. Okay, fruit cups make for an easy on-the-go snack. Just make sure you choose the unsweetened kind that's not in a sauce or juice. Number five, tuna. On WW Freestyle, every single fish, whether tuna, salmon, trout, or branzino, is zero smart points. I am not a huge fan of canned tuna. I'm not a huge fan of canned fish of any kind, but give me salmon, cod, fresh tuna. Oh my gosh, I do love fish a lot. Okay, number six, spaghetti squash. I haven't had this for a while and I need to have it. Fake a plate of spaghetti by taking squash and using a fork to scoop out the pasta-like strands. Top with sauce and cheese, pesto, roasted vegetables. The options are endless. I love a good spaghetti squash meal with just spaghetti squash, grilled chicken, and fire roasted tomatoes. Can I just tell you how filling that is? And that is absolutely all zero smart points. One of my favorite meals, absolutely. Number seven, fat-free plain Greek yogurt. Love it. I do have to be a little careful on this one because I could seriously overeat Greek yogurt like until the cows come home. I love Greek yogurt. Here's a great way to stick to your budget. Replace condiments like mayo and sour cream with plain fat-free Greek yogurt. It adds the same creaminess but without any smart points. Number eight, tofu. It's not just for vegetarians. The soy-based protein can be scrambled like eggs, tossed into a stir fry, and even baked. I am not against tofu at all. Um, however, the best way that I've had tofu was fried in butter <laughs> at Benihana. So um, yeah, I don't normally eat tofu at home, no thanks. Number nine, unsweetened applesauce. This is such an easy staple, we all forget about it. It's great on its own or as a dipping sauce for latkes. Applesauce is also delicious when swirled into oatmeal or used as a jelly substitute in a PB&J sandwich. That's an interesting one. Number 10, refried beans. All beans are zero points, including fat-free, no sugar added canned refried beans, which are delicious in deconstructed burrito salad. Do this, top lettuce 
with tomato, corn kernels, diced avocado, seasoned rice, and a scoop of warmed refried beans. Add a sprinkle of cheese and hot sauce or salsa. That sounds so delicious. That sounds really good. I do love refried beans. Beans are another thing that I do have to be careful with, another zero point foods, not because I necessarily will overeat them, but if I eat too many, too many days in a row, my body hangs on to those carbs and I gain weight. So gotta be a little careful with that one. Number 11, fat-free salsa. Grab the chips or go totally zero points and duck dunk veggie slices into the spicy or mild dip. But don't stop there. Salsa also adds magic to scrambled eggs and can be used as a condiment with your favorite meat dishes. Number 12, unsweetened pickles. I love those big, giant, giant pickles so good and the crunchier the better you can get your salty and sour fix without using smart points you already know to layer pickles on sandwiches and burgers but chopped or sliced gherkins can add an unexpected zing to a number of dishes from pasta salads to pizza have you guys ever put pickles on pizza you know that's just crazy enough i would probably try it and I would probably like it. Okay, last one, number 13. 13 zero point foods you totally forgot about. Figs. Is there anything more perfectly delicious than a fresh fig? Maybe the fact that each bite is zero smart points. Eat them raw, the entire fig, skin, seeds, all of it is edible, or add slices to salads or cheese trays. So that's it, 13 zero point foods you and I totally forgot about. Let's revisit some of those this week and get some new fresh ideas into our menu. Thanks for watching guys. Okay, early morning meeting, check. Job, check. Errands, check. Now I'm on my way to school. I'm stuck on the freeway in traffic. Here's the dilemma I think I'm gonna be facing every Monday and Friday for the next little while. So I actually, Usually when I intermittent fast, I wait until three o'clock to uh, break my fast and have lunch. Today I decided I better break my fast at two o'clock because of what's coming up this evening. So I broke my fast at two o'clock. I had the baked potato with the chicken and gravy. Very filling. I am so not hungry right now. It's five o'clock, okay? Three hours later. It's actually 5.20. My dilemma is that I have an hour to eat dinner before I have to go to class. Class is then from six o'clock until 9.10. If I don't eat before class, then I have to wait all the way until 9.10 to eat. <laughs> so what I have is my turkey wrap, I have some barbecue potato chips, and my built bar and an apple. What I think I'll do is if I'm not hungry before I set foot in class, I will take the chips, take the built bar, because I think I can get away with eating those in class if I kind of sit in the back and I'm real careful. Um, and then that will hold me off until after class when I can have the turkey wrap. Otherwise, I eat the turkey wrap first and then I can have the other stuff whenever. What do you think? This is my future and today dilemma. So that class ended an hour early which is actually excellent because I have a ton of laundry to do, change the litter box, sweeping, all kinds of stuff that I could be doing right now. So I'm going home to do that. I did what my coach calls preemptive eating. So I was not like super, super hungry. What I did was I ended up eating the sandwich. Um, she calls it preemptive eating because it's eating to prevent starvation later, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I ate the sandwich early in order to prevent starving later. Um, I had just the wrap and now I still have my barbecue chips left and I still have my gold bar. Mm. I also have a banana and an apple, which I probably won't have because I am not hungry for that. Um, I also legit want some more popcorn. I can't remember if I told you guys or not, but I got that microwave popcorn popper and oh, I did tell you this morning. I'll show you if I have it tonight. It's awesome and it's so good and it's only five points. So anyway, I'm gonna munch on some good stuff while I head home, get a whole bunch of laundry done, be productive, and I'm gonna crash hard tonight because 5.30 was early and I have been going like nonstop all day long. I earned this built bar. <laughs> so I was just talking about YouTube with a friend and how, um, how many followers I have, how many subscribers, and I just have to say, my 
followers, my subscribers, and I told my friend this too, are the best. You guys are the most loyal. You absolutely helped pull me out of like the depths last week. I was so desperate and sad and upset and you guys and all your kind words and all your messages, you really helped me so much more than you can even know. I am so, so appreciative of all of my subscribers. So I just wanted to tell you guys that. Um, and then I also wanted to mention there is one glaring thing missing from my routine that you have probably noticed that I probably should be doing and I'm not. And that is running. I am still running the LA Marathon on March 26th and I am not training. I'm not even, not training, I'm not even running. Um, Considering everything that's going on right now, which a lot of you guys still don't know, it's like behind the scenes because I'm not comfortable sharing my entire life. Um, uh, there's so much going on right now and so much stress and the depression and um, life circumstance that it, that's, if that's the one thing that has to take a back seat right now, I'm totally okay with that because I will survive, I will be fine, and I still will run the marathon. I will run it, I will walk it, or I will crawl it. Um, but yeah, you'll notice that I'm not, I'm not working out at all right now and I'm absolutely 100% okay with that. So it will be really interesting to see on marathon day how that challenge turns out, but I know I'm just going to be thankful to literally just be alive. <laughs> um, that is no joke. So, Okay, what was I literally just saying about how amazing all of my viewers are. I got home to a package in the mail from Jeanette. You're the sweetest, Jeanette. Jeanette listened when I said a few days ago that I was gonna take a bath with a fizzy bath bomb, and she actually makes her own bath bombs, so she sent me some. Thank you so much, Jeanette. These are by Nets Handmade Soaps. Eh, they're so cute. Honestly, I wanna eat it because it smells so good. This one is let me see the flavors here. She sent me two mango tangerine. That's what smells so good. And two love spell. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Jeanette. I can't wait to go take a bath. You're the sweetest. And you know what else is super cute that I love? She put them in an Ipsy bag. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much to whoever it was who recommended that I use lavender essential oils. There's my diffuser and I knew that I had some lavender and sure enough there is my lavender essential oil. Thank you so much whoever suggested that. It's very, it smells wonderful and soothing and very calming. Okay, so here is this super cool little silicone WW popcorn popper, a microwave popcorn popper. I have five tablespoons of this popcorn kernels. Five tablespoons of kernels is five smart points in here. And then we'll just put the little silicone lid on and I'm gonna stick it in the microwave. It's basically the same as how you do a microwave popcorn bag. Um, you just put it in and let it pop until the popping slows to about two seconds per pop. So I always do mine at six minutes and then I just listen for it. Done and, ooh, it's hot, it's hot, hang on. Okay, here we go, that's a lot of popcorn for five smart points. You can use um, some spray. I, I will probably buy some butter spray and use some butter spray on this at some point and some salt, but right now I'm actually just really enjoying it plain exactly like it is.